Okay, so here we go. Build video number one. Um, start with the gearbox. First few steps, adding the motor in, number three, and then I guess after the gearbox is built, we then move on to bowling a few bits and pieces to the chassis. So I'm going to go ahead and start building that. Uh, it's number six, and I'll do a, an update at some point. Before I do that, um, just unpacked all the bags, the A and B bags, all fairly standard stuff. Uh, C and D bags, all pretty standard stuff. Here are the uh, here are the gears, pretty chunky kind of plastic, looks pretty solid. So we're putting that together. Is the differential, um, and then this is probably some of the more interesting stuff. So this is the um, ball bearings, the upgrade ball bearings, and then we've got some nice bouncy springs there. And as I said before, I think the the rear are oil filled, and there are our dampers there, and the front suspension are just sprung. It's pretty chunky metal rods here as well. So yeah, it's, it's not all plastic. It's not all rubbish. There's some reasonable metal parts here and there. So yeah, we'll get building and we'll see how we go. So here are all the parts laid out for the um, step one for the gearbox. Differential gear, gearbox housing, there's the shafts, internal gears, and here's all the little bits and pieces that we need and the grease, so on we go. Okay, so you build the two sides of the gearbox and then the differential gear here, and here they both are, and then the next step, step two, is just to put them together, so that's what I'm going to do now. And the gearbox is built, so here it is. You can see a nicely greased up cog inside. So the next thing to do is to attach the motor. Got a standard um, Tamiya 540, if you can just see that motor that comes with the Hornet. A few little fixings and bits and pieces all out already. This. Um, kind of pinion gear, 18 tooth pinion gear, it, 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 this is plastic, I haven't come across a plastic one before, but um, it's pretty chunky, in fact the whole gearbox is, is plastic, and they were pretty chunky, chunky cogs that went in, but yeah, we'll see how it works out, I guess, so I'm going to stick it all together. And there we have it, so that is step three complete, that is the motor mounted on the gearbox and um, next steps all about attaching the damper mounts and then the rear axle stays so we'll follow up with that